Hello, let's talk about Swift UI again. Uh, today I would like to talk a little bit about resources what I'm using for learning, why I am learning Swift UI and how exactly I am learning. Swift UI is a new thing to, for uh, user interface development and I truly believe it is future and I already see that I can move faster prototype faster with Swift UI, even I don't know how to use it fully yet. But I see that I will use it very often in the future, planning to use it for my own projects in upcoming year and also on the client projects as well. So, what resources I am using? I will link resources below, if you are just for resources here you can <laughs> jump to them, but for those who are interested on my reasons and opinion on those resources, you are welcome to stay with me. So, how I am learning? I am trying to spend around two hours for Swift UI. On the morning, I am starting with one hour of learning. Currently, it is Design and Code IO, Swift UI course. I am following tutorial which is created by a designer. Swift UI is tool for interface building and designers are one who know how to build interfaces and uh, this uh, and designs in this tutorial are very nice and beautiful and this tutorial is created from designers point of view and that is why I like this tutorial. If you will compare this tutorial with any other regular tutorials you will see that Usually those tutorials are more focused on API and how to just get functionality done, but this tutorial is focused on how to implement features, but also to do that in a nice way. And there are spent some time on animations, shadows and so on. That is something that you do not see in other tutorials. And this design touch definitely is one thing that is missed in my own applications and I hope to add that with Swift UI and with help of this tutorial. This is paid course, you have to pay monthly or yearly fee to get access to this course. I am going with monthly fee, with this monthly fee you have access to this course and you have access to all of the resources to download. There are also some resources for design and so on. So for $15 uh, what I paid for access for one month to this resource, I believe it's very good value. On con side, I have to say that this uh, tutorial is already a little bit outdated. Uh, if you will follow this tutorial, you will see that sometimes uh, some functions do not work because SwiftUI already have another approach for this and uh, to video, video tutorials are outdated, but there are source code attached to this tutorial and source code is updated to the actual Swift UI version, so it is not a problem. And until the middle of the course, I basically I did my own research and easily found solution for very few of problematic places. If you are interested to see detailed review on this course, uh, Sen Allen uh, did full review on this course, I will link this review in uh, description. Next one in my list is uh, my favorite resource for learning, that is Hacking with Swift. Hacking with Swift is a resource uh, by Paul Hudson and Paul Hudson is very known in Swift community, conference speaker, teacher, book author and so on. I have a few books purchased from this resource and all of them are very good. There are pro level books, beginner level books, lot of good information. On Hacking with Swift you can find plenty of resources available for free. There is um, Swift UI and Swift Developer Beginner books available online for reading for free. You can just jump on this resource and read and learn uh, iOS development. And what is very interesting, what I am following and what I am suggesting to you to follow, it is 100 days of Swift UI challenge. That is very, very interesting challenge. It is already ongoing. I just finished day 18 of this challenge. Plenty of people are participating on this challenge and sharing progress on Twitter and other social networks. And that allows to get in touch with other developers who are learning Swift UI. And yeah, that's very interesting to communicate and discuss problems with someone online 
instead just sitting in your own corner and learning on your own and solving your own problems. I am following this uh, challenge and I am working on my tasks on evening. Usually my, my day looks so that on the morning I am working on design plus code tutorial, on the evenings I am solving 100 days of Swift UI challenges and <laughs> In the middle of the day, sometimes I'm jumping on the book, that is my uh, resource number three in my list. That is quite interesting book from Big Mountain Studio. Book author is Mark Moikens and I really like this book structure. This book is very visual and book is structured that you can see result. Example on the left side on the page and code how to get into this result on the right side. Basically you can search for, for anything that is needed to solve your problem or just take a look on examples and to see how to get this result using SwiftUI. Basically I am quite often just uh, opening iPad, looking in some example and try to build and launch this example on the iPad in Swift Playgrounds. That is very interesting to do, that is currently possible. From a few weeks ago uh, Swift Playgrounds was updated to support Swift UI and you are able to build simple user interface on the iPad and play around with that. I am not using this book for learning. This book is Visual Quick Start Reference and I am planning to use this book as reference uh, when I will need anything specific. I will take a look in this book to see can I find example and solution for my need. The author promised to update this book for upcoming Swift UI version so I believe it is very good investment. So those are my three resources what I am using. There are one more what I should just should recommend and say about it. Of course, it is Apple owned tutorials and documentation. In this year, Apple did very good job by writing their own tutorials. But I don't know, I just historically do not like uh, to use Apple documentation for learning. I am using it more for researching, for reference, to find solution for some specific problems and so on. And um, that's why I'm sticking to Paul Hudson, uh, my, let's say, trusted teacher. And I'm really interested to work on my design skills. That's, that is why I picked this uh, design and code course. So, but Apple documentation is a good place to start, especially if you are short of money and do not like to invest in any books and any courses. And one more pied resource, uh, what is worth mentioning, it's uh, Rave Rendelic. Uh, I have Rave Rendelic subscription, I'm using it time to time. That's generally not a bad uh, resource, but Swift UI course, what is up here right now, is very basic, very beginning, and I just lost the interest very fast just after a brief look on this uh, tutorial. But if you have Rave Rendelic tutorials uh, subscription, uh, videos subscription, you can take a look on those course as well. And I am keeping my eye on this resource to see when they will update uh, and release Swift UI tutorial for more advanced developers. That would be interesting uh, to see. Okay, that was my shortlist and uh, my plan is start to develop SwiftUI applications in the next year, latest. Uh, with this SwiftUI, 100 days of SwiftUI will be finished at the end of January. If I will not have my own project before that, I will start to work on my own projects after that. Definitely, we'll see how much time I will have. I, <laughs> I have to work full time as a developer as well. I don't have so much time for my own app development but yeah i am planning to invest a little bit more uh, time in that and <laughs> that is the reason why i didn't release a new videos uh, for a bit i was busy with this swift ui uh, but i will share my progress on learning if you are interested in anything just uh, leave your questions below in the comments i, I am trying to answer all of the questions and yeah, keep in touch, uh, reach me out on Instagram uh, or on Twitter and keep communication going. 
So thank you for watching. See you on next one. Like and subscribe button. <laughs> buttons are below there. I really appreciate if you will decide to hit on them.